Hello and welcome to Reseller Madness. I'm Will and today we're going to be signing up for a real account on eBay. For those of you who have not actually signed up for eBay before and have never had an eBay account, this is the video to watch. I'm going to be walking you through step by step here in 2021 how to get your first eBay account. And you'll get to see the actual steps and then once we actually get an account, then I'll show you around a bit because there are some settings and there are some menus that can be confusing if you've never seen them before. But I'll be here to walk you through it one thing at a time. I'm going to be walking you through step by step creating a real account on eBay in 2021. After you get signed up for an eBay account, you can get into buying and selling. And we're going to save that for a later video. Right now, this is just how to sign up for your first account. Up at the top of the browser, you'll type in the address ebay.com and press enter. That will bring you to ebay.com and you'll see up at the top left corner of it, there is a link to register or a link to sign in. Once you have an account, you can just click the sign in, but for now we're gonna hit register. It'll take you to a create an account page. Put in your first name, your last name, and then your email address. And you'll choose a password also. Your password needs to be at least six characters long, one of which must be a letter. One is a number or a symbol. Other than that, pick any six characters. Then click Create Account. We're back at the main screen, but you can see we've signed in. So I'm going to click Account Settings and then Site Preferences. And in here, it's going to ask for a bit of contact info. You'll put in your address and also your phone number. If you only have a landline, you can click the I only have a landline rather than using a cell number. Once your info is in, press continue. Here are your site preferences. You can set buying alerts for if there is an item you're watching that is about to end, then uh, eBay will send you an alert if you check those options. Other general preferences, you can keep your computer. If you click back, you can go to personal information and under username, you can edit the username that eBay just gave you. You'll get a generic username based on your email address. And so this would be the place that you can adjust your username to whatever you like. Many times the username that I wanted was originally taken and so I had to give it several different uh, tries before I was able to get one that I liked. Keep in mind you can change your username every 30 days, but not sooner than that. So don't pick something that you're not going to really enjoy using for the next 30 days. Also in this screen you can edit your email address, you can edit your phone number, you can change your payment options, and you can change your address. Okay, and here is where you can add your credit card. Uh, you have the choice to do credit card or PayPal, and I believe uh, right now because the account's so new, they're not accepting PayPal from me, so I would be putting in a credit card. So I'll click the option and hit next, and there's where the card number goes, the expiration date, your first name, your last name, don't forget your security code, and make sure your billing address matches uh, what your credit card has listed as the billing address. And you'd hit continue and your card will be added. You can buy and you can sell using that card. Under addresses, you can change your address, email, and your phone number here also. Under payments, you can change the way that you're paying if you didn't like that credit card that you just put in. Communication preferences is the emails that eBay is going to send to you. So if you want more emails from eBay or you want fewer, then this is the place to go and adjust those settings. 
If you click manage communications with buyers, then you will see all the various times that eBay is going to send you messages if, uh, if certain events have happened, like somebody wins an auction that you've uh, started, if a buyer checks out, if your buyer hasn't paid in a couple of days, if the order is updated with shipping information, or if your buyer hasn't left you a feedback in a reasonable amount of time, then uh, you can get notices about those. You can also send invoices. Typically, I leave all of those on just as you've seen here. On the left-hand sidebar, you can see feedback, and that's where people will leave you comments if you've purchased from them or if they've bought from you. And many times it's positive, but if you have a problem, they could leave a negative feedback there for you also. If you just went and got a PayPal account and you haven't linked it up to your uh, eBay account yet, you can go into this menu here and you can add your PayPal account at any time. You would just click link my PayPal account and it's going to take you to this menu. It's going to tell you your account has not yet been created because it's a brand new account. That means you got to buy something first. That means uh, you need to use your account first before eBay decides to let you start selling. In the resolution center, you can see any issues that are going on with buyers or with other sellers. If somebody uh, sent you an item and you didn't receive it, you can go in there and you can click uh, the option, I haven't received the item yet. Or if you're having trouble with buyers who are just not paying, you can click on the right hand side, I haven't received uh, payment yet, or you need to cancel. If you click messages, you'll see any messages that eBay has sent you as well as any that you've gotten from buyers or other sellers. So let's say you'd like to buy something. Up at the top, there's a shop by category uh, drop down menu. And you can click that and you can see all the various popular categories and there are many, many subcategories underneath. You can browse through there or you can type the item that maybe you're looking for in the top search bar there and uh, you'll get a whole list of matches or near matches. If you are interested in selling, here's the basics from eBay's seller page. Number one, it's free to list. In most categories, you'll only pay up to a 14.35% final value fee plus 30 cents per order when your item sells. Number two, they've got your back. You're protected by policies, monitoring, and 24-7 customer service team. You can text chat with them on the eBay website if you have questions or problems. Putting in your phone number on the website and requesting a chat and they tend to call you back. Number three, simple to get paid. With millions of buyers, your listings can sell quickly. Once it does, we can deposit payment directly into your account. If you've set up your payment information already, then that's how you're gonna get paid. So then what are some good categories to sell? What should you, what items should you list on eBay with your seller account? Right on the seller page, there's a list of some great categories to start off with. You may want to pause the video right here and browse over this. These are typically pretty good ways uh, to get into selling on eBay. Just pick one of these categories that interests you and start listing something. All right, that's pretty much everything you need to know in order to sign up for your first eBay account. Hopefully this made you feel more comfortable seeing it firsthand as I signed up for a brand new fresh account uh, and walked you through the steps. If this helped you out, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit subscribe. All right, here's some of our fastest selling, most profitable items coming at your rapid fire. If you watched my other videos, you probably saw me pick some of these up. Destiny figure, three into 170. Football figure, three into 24. Multi-line phone, zero into 59. Wrenches, 7 into 53. CDs, 10 into 30. Paw Patrol, 24 into 75. Skylanders, 25 into 70. Shaper Bit, 10 into 45. Patches, 1 into 50. Hubcaps, 10 into 90. Fortnite, 10 into 71. Wii, 25 into 140. Router, 100 into 200. Weights, 40 into 135. Thank you very much. This is Will with Reseller Madness.